Hi guys, you are on varam24.com and today we will assemble the smartphone Huawei Nova Y91. At the very beginning we need to remove the card tray. The tray is located at the bottom. To remove this tray we take a special tool, insert the tool into the hole, but here it is important not to confuse the hole for the tray and the hole for the microphone and we push out the tray for two SIM cards. After that, we need to heat the surface of the back cover to a temperature about 70 Celsius degree or 160 degree Fahrenheit. For this, we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 or 7 minutes, we can proceed to detach the back cover. To remove the back cover, we will use a plastic film. This is the protective film from the new display. We insert it into the gap between the middle cover and the back cover and run it lengthwise to detach the cover. Because in this area there may be cables and they can be damaged. And we open the back cover. We only have a gasket on the cover. So we are going to unscrew the screws. Please not that there is a small cover hiding the fingerprint sensor connector at the point where the screw is removed. It is better at this step to remove the cover and disconnect the connector, so as not to damage the fingerprint sensor cable when detaching the middle cover. And we continue on screw the screws. We have a 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver or hash 3 -O. We recommend placing the screws on a special surface in an easy to remember order for assembly. And we move on to detaching the middle cover. We use a thin plastic tool, run it along the side of the cover to detach it. As always, we have to be careful around the side buttons and the fingerprint sensor because they are physically located there. We also need to be careful on the corners because the middle cover is holding especially tight on the corners. And of course, we can use a thin tool at first and then switch to the thicker tool. Since we haven't disconnected the connector through the small cover, we need to carefully open the middle cover and turn it around so that we can disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector without damaging the cable. And we detach the middle cover. On the cover we have the fingerprint sensor, contact pads and antenna transmission lines. Next, we disconnect the battery connector with a non-metal tool. In our case, it is tweezers with the ceramic tips. And we can detach the cover with a speaker. Find a handy place to hook the cover and carefully remove the cover with a speaker. We disconnect the interboard cable connector, the coaxial cable connector, and bend of the cables. Now we can detach the subboard. We find a convenient place to hook it and carefully lift the subboard. The subboard is taped, so we need to hold it slightly so that it doesn't come off or get damaged. On the subboard we have the charging port, cards connector, microphone on the back side. And the vibration motor remains in the display frame. And we move on to detach the speaker assembly at the top. We need to find the right place for which we can pry and leave the speaker.
Then we disconnect the display connector, the interboard cable connector, and disconnect the coaxial cable connector and release the cable from the clip that hold it on the motherboard. And we can disconnect the front camera, which traditionally has a heat dissipating foil glued to it. We can also detach the rear cameras. It is better to hold the cameras by the body so they don't fall out. And of course, it is better not to touch the lenses. Let's move on to detaching the motherboard. We find the right and convenient place for which we can pick it up and carefully remove it. On the back side, the motherboard can be held on the thermal pest. And we move on to removing the battery. We need to unwrap the six brown tabs on both sides with numbers from 1 to 6. We will pull the middle ones and the other ones should be unwrapped, so that they don't interfere with us. So we hold the display frame with the one hand and pull the middle tabs with the other hand. And we remove the battery. As we can see, under the battery we have a transparent protective coating that protects the interboard cable and the display cable. Well, this is the end of our disassembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the next video. Okay guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next video.